Okay. I've got that email off and up next. Oh my gosh, can you stop sending email replies? I just can't do this anymore. As you just saw, remote work during a pandemic can be exhausting. People who spend more hours in meetings, have higher job demand, less control over their work, and have lower incomes are more emotionally exhausted. And women across the board are more stressed than men. So since I started working at home, I'm just finding there's so many distractions. And I'm just finding it so hard to concentrate. It's just really, really tough. Our research showed that those with less control in work, less satisfaction of work setting, and weaker work identification had lower focus in work. People with children are finding it particularly difficult to work, where almost 85% of the females reported that it was difficult to focus. Collect additional data or is the data that we have already sufficient? I I don't know. I collecting Shh. It's not gonna hit me again. What? It's not gonna come over here? <laughs> what 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 do you need help with? Uh my TV eating isn't working. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll be there in like two minutes. Hey, Exxon hit me again. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. My children are slightly older, so in most cases, managing the boundary between work and their life is slightly easier. Think about those who have toddlers and infants and how those people are managing to do work as well as balance the needs of their children. In fact, our models showed that work-life balance is worse for those who have higher job demands, less sense of control over work, and have more children under 18 in their household. However, everyone is letting family life sip into work and work sip into family life. Some people are just struggling more than others. I've been able to stay social during the work from home mandate, and that's because I have a family who constantly reminds me of their existence. I'm introverted and my family provides me with the right amount of social support that I need during the lockdown. But for other people that are extroverted or those that live alone because they're single or have empty nests, this lockdown compounded with longer work hours and longer hours on screens has created increased feeling of loneliness. Most people have reported that they are disconnected from the world around them, especially those with no children at home. Oh my gosh, I had no idea how much work it was to plan and execute on three healthy meals a day for my family. At this point, I'm all about, let's just order a pizza. Exercising the same, I would love to be able to sneak in and exercise during the day. But with back-to-back -back meetings all day long in teams, I'm exhausted at the end of the day. I can't work out. I've been able to find time to eat healthier and to even exercise, but that's because my children are already adult and have homes of their own. However, for people who still have young children at home or have loved ones to care for, they are finding it much more difficult to eat healthy and exercise. This is taking a serious physical toll on their health and well-being. 50% of the females reported that they are exercising much less, and people with children report that they are eating slightly less healthier. 